Oh. Hey, Levi. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, wait, Say it's my birthday. Happy birthday. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. All right, so we are, I wanted to show you guys, we are putting in application for our pre approval. And I just want to show, yeah. show you guys. Look, Levi. Say it's my birthday. It's your birthday. Yay! It's my birthday. It's your birthday. And I had cake and I had pizza. So I am putting an application in now. I will let you guys know <laughs> what they say or what the ladies say tomorrow or whenever she let us know. Hopefully it be tomorrow. I have a birthday dinner that's Cup. planned. Cup. What? Cup. Cup. You be good. Cup. Say be good. Yep. Oh, you see them? They at, they looking at you. Say give blow them a kiss. Blow them a kiss. Okay, you be good. Cup. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I will see you guys in the morning or later on tomorrow. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, July the 11th, and my husband's computer keep going off. But we are, um, I am on my way to work. I wanna show you guys a little outfit of the day. Got this rumper from Ross. But anyways, let's get on topic, okay. All right, so on Friday, you guys saw that I put the application in um, for our mortgage pre-approval. So over the weekend, I submitted like our W-2s, all of the things that you need to, um, you know, get your process started, IDs and everything like that. And I'm going to talk to you guys about what, uh, which documents that we needed for this USDA loan. Um, and I mean, I don't think it's any different from FHA loan, but they work it a little different on their end. But for the document's sake, I think it's about the same items, you know, check stubs, W-2s, stuff like that. So I will let you guys know in this video what we needed once I hear from them okay so yesterday was monday and she just told me that i missed a couple items to submit and i was like i knew i was that was going to happen but um i was just super excited so anyways i submitted the, all those documents my husband and i did and y'all we um we're just waiting right now so hopefully i hear something today i talked to my realtor yesterday i do have a house in mind listen y'all get your pre-approval first don't even don't do what i'm doing but um I know better to look for a house than than to not have my pre-approval ready. So it's just so hard not to look at them when they're all being built around you. So even like I'm not like invested or anything in, with this house. It's just I see this house and that's kind of like the basis of where we want to be approved for. So hopefully we do get that house. I mean, if we don't, it's fine. But I'll show you guys. Um, it's not built yet, but I will show you guys the layout or the floor plan once that time come. If we even get that house, y'all, I'm not even toe up about this house. I'm just ready for this pre-approval so I can say, okay, this is the number that I'm working with these are the numbers we're working with and let's go you know type thing so our, our um our lease is up december of 2023 so you know we're in july 2023 so hopefully we can you know if we do get a pre uh if we do get a new bill it'd be perfect because the house will be ready by that time um and i don't know y'all so i'll talk to you guys all about that once we get through this day okay let's just get through this day of getting our pre-approval hopefully this loan officer i mean i have never worked with this lady before um hopefully she is on top of her game because i like to be in control <laughs> and i just don't like other people having all that much power and i'm waiting on them and all that kind of stuff and she may be busy and i don't want to be a bother but come on let's let's get this done you know so I'm just gonna wait on her. I do have to go to work. Um, I'm in training, so I started a new job. You know, you guys know that I'm in training or whatever. So I've been in training for two, three weeks now. I got four more weeks of training, so it's a, it's a lengthy, you know, thing. But I'm about to get ready to go, and um, hopefully I can hear something whenever I'm on my lunch break. I can keep my mind off it because I'm at, I'm doing something else, right? So, um, I will see you guys after I hear something. The next time you see me, guys, I should have some type of news. Hopefully, it's not too, you know, I'm a little nervous. Hopefully, it's good news. 
because y'all our credit was up down all around and then we've been trying to fix it and get everything situated and so hopefully we did a good job on that part hopefully it's what they need and that's the only thing i was worried about and the debt to income for for usda you can't have a certain percentage and which i'll talk to you guys about that if we get the usda usda loan but yeah you can't have a, a certain percentage over so these these are the reasons why i'm a little anxious okay so real life y'all i will see y'all when i hear something <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Can I get um, the turkey croissant or the turkey sandwich on the croissant? The sausage? sausage the yes, ma'am. On the croissant. All right. Thank you. Hey, guys. Happy Wednesday. So it is the next day. So I said I was going to come on here and let you guys know what happened yesterday or what, you know, took place after the fact. And I was, but my camera was acting weird. So I wanted to get on here fresh this morning to talk to you guys a little bit before I go take Levi to the daycare. So if you hear Mickey Mouse in the background, that's what's happening. And we're about to get ready to go. But anyways, uh, we did get our pre-approval. Come on, somebody. Praise God. We got our pre-approval for the amount of the house that we were looking at. So I don't know why they do it like that, but it's really good because that's their price range. We don't want to go over anyways. So we talked to the lady, um, the lender, and she said we couldn't do like the USDA because our debt to income was a little too high, which I kind of figured it was going to be, but I wanted to just try it anyways, you know. But we do have a thing here in Florida where it's called the Hometowns Heroes Program. So if you are in Florida and the whole state of Florida, you can benefit from this program depending on the lender. So if the lender offers it, then you can benefit. And the way to get this, it, it, originally you had to be like a police officer, a teacher, a social worker, a nurse, you know, people in those types of like hero status um, occupations but now they have made it to us like first-time home buyers so if you're a hometown hero or first-time home buyers you can get the benefits and what the benefit is you get like five percent um and to like pay for your down payment and your closing costs so it is like a second mortgage but um we've done this before in my first our first house and it wasn't too bad it's just the fact that when you sell the house you have to pay it back we plan on living in this house for a long time like we plan on living in this house for a long time and we will make sure that we take care of it before we even sell it so it's just a way to get us in there um yeah so it's fha um which is a federal you know program and uh you normally with fha you have to put 3.5 percent down and um then you know pay your clothes and costs and all that but since this house is a new build so it haven't been built yet um the house is still on the market uh, I mean, it's like a plot of land that's on the market, but it's still on the market and then hopefully the realtor today will like get it finalized and we have to pay our earnest money and get on the contract. All those things are going to happen today. So you guys will get to witness that as well. Hopefully that is not too loud. I guess when I edit this video, <laughs> I'll know, but if not, I'm just going to keep it in here. So with the Hometowns Heroes program, we'll be able to use that 5% like for the down payment of the 3.5 percent and some of the closing costs because it's a new bill they'll pay some of the closing costs so we could potentially not have to pay anything down y'all that's good news and then our mortgage payment is where we wanted to be because we thought it was going to be over and that wasn't going to be the house that we we're going to be able to get but she told us it's where we want to be and that's where i'm like oh, oh my gosh i'm excited oh my gosh here we go he's been sick but um he's been out of school for like a week so he just got a little cough and so we're going to let him go today hopefully they don't call us but um but i feel better say i feel better yeah yeah he said look at me oh look at that boy okay but anyways yeah so we are excited um i need some lotion we both need some lotion we're gonna take care of that but yeah i just want to give you guys an update yeah baby good job so i will see you guys after uh, i hear something from the realtor and hopefully today we get to lock in this house
Saturday. Today is Saturday, July the 15th, um, 2023. I want to make sure I put the dates in all my videos so that way I can reference them when I'm old. <laughs> like, y'all, I'll be thinking ahead. Like, I want to give you guys an update on our house buying process. So I guess this is an official house buying process video. I started this video out thinking I'm just going to show you guys our process of getting pre-approved and everything like that. And I show you all the documents that you're going to need and all those things, which I will tell you guys all the documents that you're going to need to get a pre-approval. But we have a roadblock, y'all. So let's break it down. I got my coffee. And I love this little mug. I don't know where... I got this mug from but this is one of my favorite mugs and i have a lot of different mugs but this is one of my favorite ones i think it's because it's thin i do have a lot of radon mugs but yeah i don't really like the lip of radon mugs they are cute and everything i even have one with my name on it but i just like the thinner lip mugs anyways that's besides the point today is july 15 2023 it's my daughter's birthday so jada has made she's eight years old right now go to a birthday party for jada later on and so i wanted to go ahead and knock this out this morning while everybody's still asleep so that's why i'm here and i wanted to sit down and just give you guys the full picture of what's happening okay so i mean it's not anything like super crazy this is what happened or this is what's happening the floor plan everything was nice four bedroom two bath everything is like a separate dining space if i want to convert it into an office um you know so like everything was good it's like down the street from where we currently live so my kids don't have to change schools so like all these things are lining up like the earnest money deposit is not as much as what we thought we can afford it <laughs> like like our monthly mortgage payment is gonna be great like we wanted to make sure that um we, we didn't think that we were going to be able to afford this type of house for our with our mortgage payment. We thought that the house that we were looking at was out of our range. But it's not. It's actually where we want to be. So it works out. Because it's a new construction, our insurance is lower. So that kind of helped out with the mortgage payment. Which I'll talk to you guys about that on another video whenever we actually get under contract because we're not under contract yet and i'm gonna tell you why so monday we sent all the documentation tuesday we got pre-approved on wednesday our, my realtor was like is this a go you guys like i already told her the house that we wanted and everything we were just waiting on the pre-approval and she was like all right well i'm gonna send everything to their sales agents so with a new construction a new bill you have you know you can have your realtor but they have their own sales agent um the, the person that's on that little flyer that you see when you drive by they have their own sales agent and so she had to send you know basically all our information our pre-approval to them and then they write up a contract and then we sign it and then that's official we're on the contract the house get built then you close you know that's what i was envisioning the process it's still going to be the process, but we're waiting on something to happen. On Wednesday, they told, you know, we told them that we were ready for, we want this house and they were going to write up the contract. So we gave it a whole day. So Thursday, I, I texted and I said, there's any update or is there any update? And so she had said that they were waiting on a permit in order for us to sign our contract. And I was just like, okay, a permit. Like the lot is already there. They can already, they already started doing things on the lot. I'm going to show you guys some pictures of what the lot looks like but they have already done some work so it's not like it's just grass right now so it's like already should be. come on all the permitting should be done so i get this message on, have my phone all right so yesterday which was friday um the sales agent sent us a message because i had she emailed us and said uh, what did she say I'm going to read it to y'all. She said, good afternoon. I just wanted to touch bases with you guys. Um, I have everything written up and have sent it for uh, my manager for approval. He will hold off on approving as of now because we received notice from the state of Florida that we have to obtain a special environmental permit for storm water management. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> he is unsure how long this would take to work through with the state. We have already started the process to get this for them, but he didn't feel comfortable approving the contract until we have an accurate timeline to give you. I will keep you updated. And so I messaged and said, thank you for the update. Have this ever happened before? Is In your experience, have this ever happened before? And then she said, it is very common, usually done ahead of time. But in this case, they just requested it from us. If you are in, on no particular timeline, we can go ahead and sign the contract. But just in case it takes longer than expected, you guys or you guys would change your mind, um, it would be easier if you hadn't signed it. And then she said there are other there are three other buyers because there are like three other lots like near our house, and they are in the same boat. 
she said that but they will wait it out with us the stages need to make sure that the storm water will not flood the neighboring property so they have requested an engineered plan and a permit so we're just waiting on the state of florida at this point i mean so our lease is up in december i just told her you know in two weeks we'll sign the contract um giving us some time to like get ourselves together too but in two weeks we'll sign the contract and we'll just wait it out with them because i really don't want this house to like she pulled it off the um, MLS too. So that's one of the things she said in the email. I didn't read the whole thing, but she said, I'm going to take it off the MLS, but the, your name is on the contract is ready to go whenever we get the permit. So no one else can like be interested in the house as well. So that's where we are with the house. And like I said, that was yesterday. Last night I sent her a message saying that um, we'll wait it out for two weeks. Um, well, after two weeks, we'll wait it out. And that just gives us some time to get some more, like time for our earnest money as well, because we're on a strict budget from this week through the end of July. So it's like really, really strict. So that game, it, it kind of was a prayer, like an answered prayer. Cause I literally prayed on Friday morning and I was just like, God, you know, like, you know what we need, you know, what we, what we're trying to do, you know, move for us and it block it if it's not for us so i don't know if this is a blockage or this is just something that is giving us more time to come up with this earnest money because it's not a lot of earnest money but like i said we're on a strict budget this week or this month because we didn't had so many birthdays <laughs> in july and so it's kind of just like we're on a strict budget right now so i'm just gonna ask god for clarification and just um do that so i'm gonna go on a fast starting monday and i won't film it or anything like that but you know so that's just some personal thing that i was already planning to do anyways so maybe this is just leading up coffee is not hot anymore let me try to drink this hold on yeah so that's what's happening y'all so we got pre-approved all in the same week we found a house and then all in the same week we have to wait on this permit we're gonna see how it goes because like i said our lease is up in december the house has to take a few months to get built um they were already expecting it to be finished in november december so i don't know if that's gonna make their timeline january i hope not um maybe they'll work a little faster but i will you know let you guys know so with this builder it's a it's a local builder i don't even think they build outside of this uh northwest florida i don't even think they build anywhere I mean, they probably build somewhere else i think they build in alabama they build in alabama in florida i don't know anywhere else but anyways it's local to me local to us so and it's like a semi-custom build so it's not like a huge house either y'all don't think that we're trying to be all fancy but we're finally able to afford a new build and it's amazing and it's expiring it's you know it's really good and it's something that i want and it's something that i'm proud of and so i want you guys to come along with our journey and hopefully Hopefully everything works out, y'all. So y'all say a prayer for us. I'm going to end this video here. You guys say a prayer for us and say, that, you know, pray that everything is going to work together for how it's going to work together, okay? Um, we're not going to pray for just this house because God probably say, you know what, maybe you get another house or maybe this is the house. I don't know yet. So we're going to pray. We're going to fast. We're going to try to see and get clarification on what we're doing before we even do it and get our hopes up because I've already kind of fallen in love with the house. So, you know, but it's a different type of love. It's more like, yeah, I love it, but I'm not going to fall too deep until I sign my name on that contract, that part. But anyways, I will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.